guys, it's me again. I've got some notes to read from. My dog decides who wants out when I start a video. Now, go figure. Okay, so I wanna talk about a couple of things today. One is politics. Hello, I don't wanna talk politics. I dislike both, both of the candidates. I don't like them. So don't ask me who I'm voting for. I know who I'm voting for. But if you ask me who I'm voting for, I'm gonna tell you that I'm voting for the person that you're not voting for. It's as simple as that. I just, I'm tired of them. I'm just really, I'm over it. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is the hurricane. And that was interesting. That was interesting. It was my first hurricane with my fiance and um, it was interesting <laughs> because I'm a little bit scary when it comes to hurricanes and uh, he's not. He's pretty much fearless. But what I want to say about the hurricane is, as I think at least two, two men died trying to get electricity back to us. And people are complaining and bitching and moaning about, when's my electricity coming back? It took too long for my electricity to come back. Well, you know what? They died trying to give us electricity. So lay off, just, just lay off. I don't want to hear any more of that crap either. Then, Okay, now this is a big one. Traffic lights. When the traffic lights are out, for all you idiots that just don't know and don't remember from your driver's class, it's a four-way stop. Stop, stop, stop. You don't follow the car in front of you through the intersection. Because then you get six cars going through the intersection. And that is not the definition of a four-way stop. When we have storms and the lights are out, Stop, dumbass. Okay, so that's all I want to rant about. <laughs> okay, so now let's get down to midlife crisis. Midlife crisis. Um, so I will be 53 in December, and I think I've discussed that before. And the older I get, it seems like the more aches and pains that I get. Hi everybody, meet my hunter dog. I love my hunter dog. Um, and that's not what I want. I don't want aches and pains. Um, some of my pains come from uh, over uh, exercising, running, uh, and being overweight. Running and being overweight, let me yeah get that straight. Because if I wasn't overweight, my feet probably wouldn't hurt. But my right foot does hurt uh, quite a bit. And, you know, just normal age aches and pains. You wake up and your neck hurts. Or you go to reach for something and, oh my God, my elbow hurts. Or you go to close your hand and you're like, hey, that finger doesn't close like it used to. So, I am on a quest looking for something that will not make me younger, because we know that's not happening, but to make me not... Um, to make my body feel better, you know, to get rid of those aches and pains. But I eat like a, I don't know, I don't know what I eat like, but I eat a lot of junk. So that's gotta stop, because there's a lot of salt and sugar in my diet a whole lot, and that sure isn't helping anything. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, so that's the next thing on my list to do, is to search for some kind of natural, um, I don't know, plant-based uh, thing that will make me feel better. And I, I've, I've found a few that are out there. Um, I'll see how it goes. Then um, next, I need to start moving more. So I'm going to up, oh, excuse me. I'm going to up my, uh, my running. I'm gonna try to get a little faster. Uh, hopefully that I'll lose some weight. And I am sure going, uh, a lot, aren't I? Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> so, look forward to that. I'm gonna find something that's gonna make all of us 50 year olds feel like 30 year olds. I don't know where I'm gonna find it, but I'm gonna look for it. And I'll let you know how that look is going. As far as um, anything else, 
with the midlife crisis, everything seems to be okay. Uh, I just, you know, I'm just like, what the hell? What the hell? I gotta start doing something because, you know, I just didn't do anything with the first half. Yes, I, I have some awesome kids and some awesome grandkids and some awesome friends and a great fiance, but I just, I didn't do anything. And so maybe I'll do a video on my bucket list because thanks to Miss Joyce Beasley, I got to mark a couple of things off of my bucket list when we went to Georgia, which or we did, we went to Tennessee actually, when we went to Tennessee and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that too. So if there's anything that you would like me to talk about other than politics, just leave it in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, you might not see when I upload a video. And um, hey, enjoy the rest of your evening.